Breaking news regarding Houston ISD search for superintendent. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us. I'm Keith Garvin. And I'm Christine Noel. The Texas Education Agency's conservator has ordered the Board of Trustees to suspend its search. Channel 2's Brittany Jeffer joins us live with the latest. Brittany. Yeah, we've learned that that directive was signed and sent out early this morning to board trustees as well as to the interim superintendent. Now, this, of course, comes after a nearly two-year search to find a permanent replacement. This is a look at that order. In it, a state-appointed conservator overseeing the district, Dr. Doris Delaney, ordered Houston ISD trustees to suspend their search for a superintendent until the special accreditation is complete. The conservator listed in the document doesn't state a reason for issuing the order. The letter reads, I am directing the Houston ISD Board of Trustees to take no further action regarding the selection of a new superintendent until the board receives written authorization from the conservator to resume the search activities. This is more in an ongoing ordeal to find a permanent superintendent. As we've reported, the district has been looking since 2017. In October, Dr. Granita Latham took over as interim superintendent. Now, although the board voted to replace her, they later rescinded that vote and Latham still holds the position. Board member Jolanda Jones weighed in on the letter saying she wasn't surprised the board received it and says she hopes they'll follow the directive. I hope they, uh, follow what the letter says. I'd hate for us to be taken over. So after this directive was sent out in news uh, right now, we have people both in the community and state leaders responding. Senator Boris Miles sent out a statement saying, quote, I commend the Texas Education Agency for stepping in to take drastic but necessary measures regarding Houston independent school districts, superintendent search, and for putting the students' interests first. I look forward to continue working with the governor, the TEA, and HISD as we move forward to achieve the best outcome for our students. Of course, we're continuing to reach out to more local and state leaders. We will bring you more just as soon as we have more details. Reporting live, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC Channel 2 News.